guys, good morning. So yesterday, if you saw that vlog, then we went for skimboarding in the evening, and then we came back, and then we were just like hanging out, and all of a sudden it just started pouring, and like this massive thunderstorm got here, and we're like, oh no, it's like, is the river gonna be able, we're gonna be able to adventure up it? So we're thinking is that the river's gonna have way more water than it usually does, has rained all last night. Guess what? These guys fell asleep at 11, and we had to wake up at 4.30 <laughs> this morning. Yeah, we woke up at like 4.30 or like 5-ish, and then we were like awake and we had some breakfast. Well, I and felt, then I kept sleeping. We got moving and we all have a backpack with like snacks. I have some more camera gear, like some extra batteries and stuff. And we all have a bunch of water. And I'm actually bringing a water filter in case we want to try to filter some water. Not in case, we will. We're walking bags of water, carrying water and have water in our bodies. <laughs> yeah. We've made it to the beginning of the river and it doesn't have as much water as we thought it would but it has a decent amount of water so it shouldn't be too difficult. Our goal this time is to try to get further than we got last time where I made a video but that was quite a while ago. waterfall and it's almost like a little slide but there's too many bumpy rocks for you to be able to slide down but you can jump off of these rocks which are right up there and then you can climb up here and you can actually keep continuing and there's actually a few more things similar to this one but this might be where we hang out for the next like half an hour to an hour in some cool shots maybe eat some snacks and rest up because all of our ankles are already pretty sore So you can jump off of here, and here's a nice hangout spot. How do you remember this waterfall being last time? I remember it being different, I don't know, it just looks different every time you see it. Have you ever been to this one? No, I've never been to this entrance or anything. I've seen it from the road, but... Okay, so what do you think of this little hangout spot? This, this hangout spot is good with the... To get here, it's pretty damn rough. So you can put your bags here. Yeah. And you got a nice... Focus, camera, you got a nice little view of these rocks little water there and a nice pool and we just came from way off there zigzag zigzag so super far doing a few little fun little jumps jumping in the water we're gonna I'm gonna eat some snacks and then we're gonna, gonna continue up that way because there's actually a few more like waterfall sort of things and I actually brought this like cam caddy stabilizer thing which I have which is like you which I showed in one of my other videos and I used to not use it but I started using it and I actually like the way it works really good it's really good for getting like really low shots and I can just hold on to it it is a milky way Just like for like 
five minutes and we made it to another one which is actually a lot closer to the other one than the other one is from the beginning. Check it out. Look at how deep it is. It's pretty deep. It's like four or five feet deep. for quite a while now. We found this little log where we're gonna hang out and maybe maybe eat some more food and take a little bit of a rest for our ankles. And last time we came, this log was actually like, was actually at like this height, but then it like got, it cracked somewhere. This log cracked, right so then it fell from like this height down. Bummer. Okay, we're having a snack. What are you eating? Huh? What are you eating? Um, they're chickies. The cookies. Okay, we're walking, and all of a sudden, there is barbed wire, barbed wire in the I'm middle of our pathway. I almost there, ran into it. There's a big space underneath, and the river still continues. So we're going. Okay, it looks like this journey has come to an end. There was this tree and a bunch of branches and we just passed, passed through a bunch of branches over there. And this looks like it's gonna sadly be the end of going further in this river. Now we're gonna head back. So surprisingly, we got to the dead end a lot quicker than we thought we would. Last time we adventured up this, we didn't go as far as we did today. And today we got up really early thinking that we were gonna be adventuring all day. But we have to head back early because of the dead end. And I feel like something just walked over my foot. Okay, so we came up to this side water river sort of thing, and there's this big grassy field which we're gonna climb onto somehow and then go check it out. Totally you guys. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Titus stepped into a little puddle and then he almost like sunk down to the bottom because it was like almost like quicksand, but underwater. We're gonna keep moving and go to the waterfall and then we'll eat. All right, we're walking back and we've actually drank almost all of our water. We have a little bit left but I actually brought a water filter and I'm gonna purify a little bit of water so that we can keep on drinking and staying hydrated. And we're also gonna hang out right here and eat a few snacks because we are a bit hungry. All of our ankles are really sore because we came without shoes. And feet. Because shoes, whenever we wear, I've tried wearing shoes up this but they get soaked with water and then they're really heavy and really annoying so I usually don't go with shoes but we're gonna purify some water. water purifying survival skills and now we're gonna eat some snacks like always. Had, 
Give me, give me your guys' opinion on that water. It tasted fine. Perfect. Just regular drinking water. It tastes better than you think it will. Now we are going to continue the, down the river. All we all keep falling, but I'm never filming. So. Well, that was a super fun adventure up that river. Both my friends, Titus and Joe, they just head home. They just headed home from sleeping over my house last night, and it was super fun adventuring on that river with both of them because both of them they like adventuring and they like being outdoors and in nature. So that makes it a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyable. And today's positive quote is, "I'm too busy working on my grass to notice if yours is greener." So a lot of people they compare themselves to what other people have. So people are always like. Oh, I want to have what my friend has. I want to have that shiny car. I want to have that super awesome this or whatever. And basically how what I think of this quote as kind of is like imagine there's a fence and like you have your yard and there's your neighbor who has their yard. Stop looking over at their grass and being like, oh, that one's so much nicer. Just stop worrying about what other people have and worry about what you're working on and that you're improving. So basically what this quote means to me is to not compare yourselves to what other people have all the time. So hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. This was the third, it was either the third or the fourth time I went up that river. I went up that river a few other times with one of my, with a few of my friends. But this time was, I think I made the video a lot better because I got, a, I've improved my filming, like, um, like, like way I film things a lot better as to how I used to film like a couple months ago. So I definitely think that improved how I portrayed the image of the river. So if you like adventuring, get out there and go on some adventures. And when you're done with your adventure, come back to this video and comment in the section, in the comments below, how your adventure went and what you did. And I will see you guys tomorrow early in the morning. And...